Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here, this is episode 12 of my factorial playthrough. And off camera, I quickly just crafted a whole heap of stuff. Because um, I want to really get my iron production up and running a lot faster. Because as you can see, it's only dribs and drabs making it through, which has made my research almost grind to a halt. So, first things first, let's just make a copy of everything that's inside of here. Like, as soon as I'm there, done. Is that everything? Yep. I'm not going to paste it down yet. I am going to build all the um, conveyors annually so my robots aren't wasting their time trying to fly around and place them down. Uh, it's pretty much the exactly the same routine as I did with the others. I thought I made a mistake for a second in. So let's just run these two up, like so, and then all I have to do is the next one, right here. Um, oh, I'm fully charged as well, that's going to help. Um, so I'm not going to have to worry about my robots just sat there trying to recharge when they can't, because it's just become night, and at least there's plenty of light, so see. I also crafted a whole heap of these so if I've got time I still need to go over to here and finish building it and I need to put a radar down over there. So all this is still running off just one coal line it should be enough for now but if I need to I can always run some more. So let's just drop this one in. While I'm at it I'm gonna put that one in too. I'm going to come down to here and just slowly make my way up, dropping in the um, furnaces. Do I not have furnaces? Oh, there they are, 208. I thought I had a whole heap of them. So let's just place these in and creep up. And hopefully my robots can sort of keep up, placing down all the randoms. If I have to, I'll make my way down again, placing stuff. So, let's just place all these furnaces down. Three, four, one, two. And hopefully, very soon, my robot flying speed and stuff is all going to start upgrading. So, if I can just quickly do these. And I'm going to actually check. I'm going to go into my uh, research and have a look how far off I actually am. I'm pretty sure with the um, blue science now getting done. Um, I'm pretty sure I can research faster robots. Right, did I do... Yeah, I did blue in there. Couldn't remember if I did. Sorry, close this. T. And... Let's have a look. So, robotics. I still need to do this one. Construction, personal roboport, worker speed. Yes. So, all I need to do is this one here, this robotics. What am I researching at the moment? Rocketry. No, you can get stuff. So, where is it? Robotics, robotics, robotics. That one. Research. I should have researched that one a long time ago. Because then I can get. All my work is just going that little bit faster, but it's still going to crawl along because I just don't have the iron. So I do have a little bit of backlog, and luckily the red and green, that's all I'm using at the moment, is first priority on the line. So how's this going? Not too bad. I need drop the ring this down. I'm going to lock it back into place again. And I need to look at getting all this power connected. Where is it? There. 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 Right underneath my feet. The robots are just about beating me to it anyway. I might put lights down instead of the power because I can easily see what lights aren't placed. Looks like all of them up there are. This is these yellows. 
all these inserters. So if I keep making my way down, there's a bit of conveyor there, here it comes. Let's keep going down, one, two, another four here, another two, here's a few more, and there's no power down here. And that one, and these last four are gone. So all I have to do is wait for my robots to hurry up. They're recharging at the moment. Get these last few done, and then I can go up and actually connect this into my network. You can see the iron is starting to suck in quite fast, which means a lot of my furnaces must be up and running. So they're all climbing back into their little hidey hole. Let's just open this, make sure I've got everything highlighted. Off they go. So everything's got iron in it, just need to get to the end, and if every single one has iron showing it means that the iron's making it all the way and everything's working as it should. Just creep up, no robots are launching, cool. So now, how am I going to tap this in? I've got two full lines. What I'm thinking is chop this line off then delete this whole line going up that should keep all this running really fast then let's jump this across and convert this to uh, two lines coming in So let's just run this like so, this can go under there. Now I really want to keep this line, but I'm going to move it to this side. Now I'm going to run this one under here and make it this one. Now the reason for that is this one. I want to run it over there, so I'm going to go up, I'm going to go under here, and that one's going to keep going, but I need to put a splitter in here, and I am going to run this one straight across like this, and I need uh, this one like that. This can go under, down, and in. So I don't want this one to back up because I am trying to suck this one dry. This is high priority. Even if it backs up a little bit, these should easily absorb it. So there's 200,000 there. How many furnaces is it? So if I highlight, oh, it's about 80. So even if it completely backlogged, 96, that's nearly a hundred thousand just in the furnace it could hold because each one can hold a thousand Anyway, this is going to keep sucking out And filling up now I do have another line So my question is do I run it in? Further up. Oh, I got work up worker speed now It's working. It's definitely something I want to upgrade Worker robot speed, where is that? Oh, there it is. So I want that one to keep going up as much as possible. And hopefully these nice big full runs of iron are going to make it all the way up. So I'm just giving it a chance now. So that's definitely starting to slam it because that's a very hungry little section of track here. And then that's not so hungry, and this is extremely, extremely hungry. So, will this be able to back up that? Maybe not straight away. Because these all suck a lot of iron. These need 40 each. 
So it takes 20 raw iron and 10 of those, and each of those needs two. So it's, that's how it's getting the 20. And then this has all the furnaces at the end, gobbling everything up as well. So if I come around here, that's also looking very nice. So, yep, it's making it basically all the way to the end now. That's getting enough. It's filled this right up. It's coming through and all the overflow go into here. Once this all starts pouring through, it's going to start sucking from down here. So it's going to sort of pulse a bit, but it will level itself out. That's what this, this has already got a backup. So purely the entire lag cores down here will just be these and this. Alright, so my research should start going a lot faster. So, the grey is definitely still lagging. Mainly because these are just so slow. If I had a left enough room, I could have built some more. But, I don't have enough iron. So, there's not really any point. Though, if I did... Oh, there's no way of getting it in there. I was going to say, I could always build some outside and then um, run it in. But there's nowhere to run a track. For some more of these. Because I do have the entire empty line here that I could siphon off. Oh well. All the blue's cranking along. Matter of fact, I'm going to gobble up. A whole heap of these. Ugh, I just had a fly hit my eyeball. Alright. Now, I just need to come all the way along here. I'm going to jump in my car and I'm going to go finish building on the other side of the map. So, I'm going to jump in, come across here. Where's my conveyor? Here it is. Let's make my way straight up without hitting any trees, preferably. Right. Hopefully everything's gonna build. Right, I grabbed some more steel as well before off camera. So hopefully it's gonna have enough to build all the power poles that I need. Do I have any steel left? I still got 500, so I should be right. Wait for my robots. Let's make my way down this one now. Nice and slow. Give it all the chance to build. I could almost just make a copy of this and then every time I find a field I can just go straight on top of it. But I've definitely noticed my rock my um robots are faster. Um let's go up this one. Yep. And then I could come down there outside and I should be right. Is that it? That's it. So That looks like everything's good to go. I could probably run some more lines down. I don't need to. Two is enough for now. Because I shouldn't even have them anyway. Eventually I'm going to build a big train station here. Because I this 2.3 million is going to last a while. And also, if I build a station here anyway, it's going to be on the way over. I'm just not sure. I'm going to build the station down here for unloading. I'm just not sure whether I'm going to run it across and up or whether I'm going to go around the whole outside out of the way. How am I doing power wise? Oh, easy. So, that's looking good. Let's make my way down now. And, what do I need to do now? So I'll stand on the conveyor, so I'm going to get some free walking. Um, let's look at my tech. I can build another robot speed. So let's do that one. I'm going to go into here. I can't make the next science yet. What do I need to make the next science? Probably not robot speed that. So I need to research advanced metal processing. Is that the only one left? 
So this one needs 300 of everything. That will give me blue circuitry. And this one needs 250 everything, and it will give me the production science. Um, what I'm going to do is just make my way over here. And I might just start setting up, making all the stuff I need for the train tracks. Alright. So, just off the end of this line here, I reckon just in here. Um, what do I need for tracks? Because I need a lot of them. I think it's just steel. Stick steel. And stone. I forgot about stone. Oh yeah, stone's just here. So I could definitely split some off. Like that. Let's just run this up and under here. And then... Where's it going? Oh, maybe I didn't need to go up. I can go under there. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to run it right here. And then once I'm over here, oh, I forgot to put a radar over there. I will remember one of these days. You know what I'm going? Oh, I can't. It's out of range. Um, so, let's just go under here. I need to get rid of that one. Oh, it reaches anyway, so that's fine. And there's my stone. So for track, I need stone, iron sticks, and steel plates. Um, I should better make some steel plates, because all I need is a couple of these bastards. Oh, was I going to build it there, wasn't I? Not down here. Oh, that's right. If I go here, that'll work, because I can long reach down like that and for the coal um, if I tunnel this three four I can long reach that as well and then all I need to do is drop a power pole in and a light so there's my steel I don't need a lot of steel that can go into here. This can be that. And now, what else does it need? Iron stick. I'm guessing that's just metal. It is. How am I going to do this one? So if I go, um, right here, I can long reach into there, especially if I put a power pole here, and this build a stick. Uh, I can't quite look around. I need this one lower, which isn't easy to do. Um, or well, that one has to be one higher, and it won't reach. Alright, it's alright. I'm just going to have to do this. And... Up, in. I need some power. And output into crate. And I'll just make it. Oh, it can have two stacks. Right. And stone. What am I missing? And stone. Need some more power. Now, how much stone does it need? Not much. And I haven't put the steel in yet. One, two. Okay. Four, five. Alright, there's all my rail. <sighs> what else do I need? Everything else I might just craft as I need. I don't think there's that much. That's easy to make. 
I might just craft this stuff as I need it. Just the locomotive. Even that. It doesn't it only takes half a second to make one. And I can grab everything straight off the belt. Wagons as well. What I might do though is I'm gonna make a chest storing gears. Because I always run out of gears. So if I do this and tell you to make gears and go in, out, into, where's my crates gone? Here. And then I'm going to just drop a power in here. Perfect. Now, I don't need that many. Uh, I think they're in stacks of 500. If I go here, there'll be at least a thousand. But it could be higher. There could be a thousand, could be two thousand. I don't remember what these stack into. Yeah, I'll just go here. That should be more than enough gears. And that's going to help run all this dry. As you can see, some of these are already dying. Ooh, alien attack. Map. Whereabouts? Here we go. Oh, they're all dead already. Oh, yeah, the pollution's just starting to hit these guys. And it's starting to get, it's breached the wall on this side as well. So it won't be long till it's out there. And my plastic is probably going to stop soon thinking about it. And I don't. Yeah, this is all full. Alright, I'll have to work on that next episode. Um, how much petroleum? So the petroleum 70% full. So, I'm still fine. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode off here. Um, we've got all our steel sorted out now. We're happy and we've just got some, you know, um, just making our life easier. I built this before off camera as well. You probably noticed it. Just so I can swing by and grab a bunch of uh, circuits. So, I've just got 1300. So, if I craft anything, I can make it a lot quicker. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you around and goodbye.